Hey you guys, it's Debbie from My Vagabond Style. I'm back today with the random glue book, but I'm doing a flip through. So this one is done, and I'm excited to show it to you. Uh, this was done with a real estate guide that I picked up for free, and it was just a stapled one with kind of, um, this is not really shiny paper. This is a really nice, um, I could have done it with shiny paper, it really doesn't matter, but it was just a, I really liked the matte type paper. I thought that that, it always works really good when you put acrylic paint on it or um, pin work. So that's why I chose this one. So this is just a backup one that I could maybe start another one with. And this is how thick this one got, which isn't too bad. It's, it's not too thick, but I had done this cover like right from the beginning and um, I ended up and in one of my videos I, I show where I repair it and I go ahead and do a pamphlet stitch on here. Um, this is a it's a five hole pamphlet stitch and uh, so we'll just kind of flip through here and uh, I will kind of talk about the pages a little bit. When I reinforced it I also put this um, bark cloth in here to reinforce it which is helpful and um, so here's the first two pages I did not do these in order if you've been looking at my random glue book videos they're just I just work on it as I feel and I um, might work on this and then come back to it in six months or a year because this has been actually this book's been worked on since I think 2016 because I, I really didn't work in it faithfully until I started doing the um, the series here on my channel. So they're just fun. There's a lot of Daphne's diary in here and um, just different places where I got it. Reader's Digest even some of these images. There's stickers. Um, this was from an old vintage magazine. And um, Speaking of the Daphne's diary, I should tell you, I'm a patron of Nellie and Ruth Designs, and she sent me, I think she sent all her patrons a thank you gift, and I got it the brand new Daphne's diary, you guys. So I'm super excited about this one. There's beautiful images in, in here, and I can't wait to cut it up. <laughs> That's what we do. All right, so, and this one was from a holiday magazine. Holiday magazines were big travel magazines back in, I, I think they were even doing it in the 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s, I believe. But the ones I have uh, mostly are from the 60s, and I just love them. They, they make great collage work. Um, let's see. Yeah, this was fun. I did this around 4th of July. And my little fairy. If you find jewel uh, images of jewelry, be sure and keep those. They're, they're super handy to have. Uh, these are my party girls. They are having a good time living the life. Uh, this one... I could I had this image for a really long time could never find a place for it so I'm happy that he lives here now and then uh, this one just is I love just looking at this one <laughs> scoop brew pour sip smile ah, yeah that's a good one this is one that I started putting some of my fodder in and so <laughs> I really do enjoy being able to use some of that fodder that I've been making. There's a whole series on those. I'll link it below. And uh, this one, I, I have lots of fun magazines that my friend Mary got for me when she went to the Kentucky Derby. So I just love those images out of there. They're, all the girls are always dressed up. <laughs> lots of fun things going on. And uh, let's see, this was from a Reader's Digest. I remember these that chickens I, you know I always love chickens I think they're so fun they're so funny to look at you know I love the if you guys have seen the Instagram videos where the chickens are dancing yeah I can't I can't stop watching those and let's see yeah definitely from the holiday magazine here 
I'm sad that I didn't find my lava lamp yet. So, you know, if I find a little lava lamp image, I will be putting it right here. It's waiting. It's waiting for it. It'll come. Someday I'll find it. And this was just a fun island one that I did. I hope the glare is okay. I hope the glare is okay. I hope there's not too much glare. And this was, it went right from like a summer one to a winter one. There's no rhyme or reason here. I liked putting the little owl on the top of the truck. These are just, I love having somewhat completed journals that you can just look through. Like I have all my ones from the Marguerite Miller from last year and then half of this year, which I still do. Well, I'm going to do a few more Marguerite Millers. Here's some more of my fodder. And these goats, they remind me of my friend Julie from Day Trip Vintage Co. If you haven't checked out her channel, check out her channel. She does a lot of really fun stuff. She's into more of the junk journals right now. This one, this was a really old one. This one was probably more from 2016 when I started this. And this, this page, for some reason, is one of my favorites. I just love it. And it was two separate ones that ended up kind of going together. I love how she's, like, not real happy with them, and she's got her suitcases. There has something to do with these girls. I don't know. I wasn't there. And then this one is my probably least favorite one. I think it's too monochromatic it's um just not my favorite you'll have that some of them are some of them aren't they can't all be your favorites these ones very old they've been in here for years i did just add the flower in her hair recently and these these are kind of the older ones too right kind of in the middle Now here's the middle section where I tied off. I did use some uh, waxed string on here. And uh, I can link below that video of repairing this. Because the staples, eventually they just kind of gave out and I had to do something. He's fun. I don't know why he has a loaf of bread, but <laughs> he does. This one, I like it. It's This one I like better than this one. I think I just need a few more things here, which, you know me, I will end up putting something here. Maybe even like a bathing suit top or something would be good. That would be kind of fun. Or maybe more flowers up here. But for now, it's done. She is fabulous. I had found one uh, cat, and then I found the other one the next week. So they... they <laughs> It was fun to keep adding to that. This one, I wasn't sure how YouTube felt about the chestal region, so I just covered it up, but it's a really pretty image. This one had its own special video. It was before I did the random collaging. I did this all in one uh, video. This is fun because it's the 80s. Yep. I like the dancing girl. I put different legs on her and did some stamping there in the background. These are fun because I like that it's just different elements here that I kind of put in the back that seem to work. Just bits of magazine page. This one's more like a regular collage. When I say regular, um, it's just not my normal style. It's, um, you know, everything's kind of sectioned off where I usually do one that is uh, one picture, you know. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> this one was fun. I really enjoyed this guy. 
the little dog on the airplane is our little pilot. And she's just beautiful. There's not a whole lot to this collage, but I really do enjoy it. And these two gals with their faithful labs, I think yeah, I, I do like that. And Kermie. Let's okay, so this one was fun. This is a recent one, me using the fodder. I used the tree as her hair and then uh, added the other flowers here and then uh, put her, they kind of look like they go together, like the fairy and the dog, fairy dog. Oh, I should have put wings on the dog, right? Maybe I'll have to go back and do that. And then this one turned out interesting. Um, it just kind of fell together. Got some purple in the background and then I found this, and tucked the buildings behind it. And uh, she looks like she's the tourist here. He's just a great image. You'll see him on the ads for one of the uh, eyeglass companies. This one, I, I did feel like I could put something else on it, but I just never did. I never found anything else I wanted to, so that's all right. The, this one's good. I like this. The retro girls with the Mustang and the party in the back. And a little more fodder here. This, I was just trying to uh, see how I liked doing like the strips down here, which I did. It worked out pretty good. This one, I have like changed things around in it quite a bit. And um, I never put anything right here, which I think eventually if I find something else, I will. I love this page. This is this is one of my favorite ones. Both of you know these together, they just kind of go. I love the colors. I think, and this one that she's just overwhelmed. You know, we've all been there. And this guy's hatching his plan with the grumpy cat. There's a little bit of mark making in there. I started doing a little more mark making. And she's having a great time with her credit cards. This one, not a whole lot here, but it, it just seems to work. I did uh, kind of do a little outlining here. Um, I do think I could have put something, maybe a necklace or something on her, which might happen. And here's another one. These were done more recently. She's just beautiful. That I, I like how these backgrounds are different, but they work together. And this guy, he's, he's fun with my fodder. This is another one of the fodder flowers. And um, yeah, he's just got his, he's mystical with his birds. He's got three birds on him and his fig leaf. And then we've got these two gals. This, again, was from the Kentucky Derby magazines that my friend brought back for me. So that is the end of these. And um, I do thank you for joining me. And there will be a random glue book starting again. We'll do something else. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching me, hanging out with me. I appreciate you guys. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.